So we'll pick up with the autofill and the customize list. It's really nice if you're using like all these colleges in Georgia, these different four cars, these different cities. If you use that a lot, it's great to create that customized list. But sometimes the list is too long with like the states and you can't do that. So occasionally it's better to copy than it is to do autofill. It just depends on the situation. So if I want to copy all these 50 states to someplace else, you know, some people will drag down like this or go to the bottom. Then they'll right click and they'll do copy. Well, this is the slowest possible way to do it. So what you want to have is you want to copy this column. You can press the shift key. And then as you go down with the shift key, it, keeping the shift key pressed down, it highlights stuff. Of course, it's slow to press the down arrow key as you do this. But if you do the shift key, control, down arrow key, now you've highlighted all 50 states plus you've highlighted the column heading. Now that I have those highlighted, I press control C. Control C will copy this. Go back to where I want it to be. Control V to paste. So those are the keys. Control C and Control V. You're going to use those a lot. And also Control X to cut. Alright, so now we've copied this. Let's look at the next one. I want to insert a new worksheet and copy um, copy B to J here with all this. So how am I going to do that? I could insert a new worksheet by going down to the mouse and clicking on this button right here. I'll tell you, I think that's a slow way to do it. You want to use the mouse as little as possible. So there's another way we can do this. It's um, Alt Shift plus F1. So when you do Alt Shift plus F1 all together, Alt Shift F1, it's going to insert, insert a new sheet. So now we've inserted the new sheet, and what I want to do is copy, and a lot of this is just like drills, right? It's nothing that you're actually going to do in real life, but everybody's going to do different specific things. So I want to do just drills to get you copying faster, cutting faster, doing that type of thing. So I want to insert this worksheet, and I've done that, copy what's in sales B1 to J31 to that new worksheet. Well, one of the things I can do is I can do control a, control A is going to pick that whole area. As long as I'm in here, control A is going to highlight what Excel guesses to be the entire area. If Excel is wrong, you can do control A again and that highlights the entire sheet. Well, I don't want to do that. I just want rows B to J. So to do that, um, I can do control, a couple things here, control shift star, and that's going to pick what it thinks is the right region, and here it's got that region wrong again. So Control A or Control Shift Star tries to pick a region. Um, so I don't have that right, but if I do Shift and then I just scroll over, and I want to go to J and then Control Down. Now I've highlighted everything that I want to copy. Control C, and now I can go to this new page and Control V to paste. And to make the column width the width that fits, see how the column widths are wrong? We see these pound signs. That means that there are numbers there, but the column is too narrow to show all those numbers. And here you see the words are bleeding over. So to automatically set the column width the way you want it to be, to make it as, as narrow as possible but still fit everything, is you highlight the columns. Highlight the columns, come up here and double click. And now we have the appropriate column width. By the way, sometimes these videos are interrupted by my little girl, which just happened. So I apologize for the break. Now if I want to cut this rather than copy, I just instead of Control C for copy, Control X for cut. And let me just do that again. I want to start from here. So I have this particular region. And I'll show you one thing here. If I were to do this, if there was nothing here, so to add a column, control plus, now I know I'm, I'm giving you a lot of control A, control plus, control this, control that. The only way to get those into where you really use them is just repetition and repetition, which we'll do. Uh, but the fastest way to add a column is control plus. So now that I have this area here, if I do control shift star, it's going to select that area because it sees a blank column here. And I always like to use, by the way, just stylistically, I like to have column A blank and small. I don't really know why. I just like to have that. So if I do Control A, it's going to select that area. Control A again, it'll do the entire thing. 
But if I do, I can do Control Shift and the star, and it has to be the star above the number eight, not the one on the keypad. So now I have that. I want to cut that Control X and go to a new sheet or wherever I want to have it, and Control V. And let's see what else do we have here. So I don't want to cut that. I want it to come back. See when I cut, it disappears. And do the undo that. If you were to copy, it stays in both places, but if you cut it, it disappears. So I think that's it for the copying. Um, if you're going to use anything a lot, I would say Control C, Control V, and Control X are the ones you're going to use the most. So really practice with those. Um, and that's it for this video.